Knowing the specific style names of the items you are listing on your reselling platforms can help you in so many ways and help you make faster sales. For one, you'll be able to price more accurately since you can do specific comps to see what these items have sold for in the past. You'll be able to find better keyword terms that you can use in your titles. And also you'll find model stock photos, which you can download and use in your listings. All of this would just help to elevate your listings, make them better and make people more confident to buy from you. So in part one of this video, I'm going to be showing you three ways that I find style names for my items. And in the second part of this video, I'll be showing you how I download, edit, and add stock photos to my Poshmark listings. One of the easiest ways to find the style names of the items you are listing is using Google Lens. Google Lens is a way for you to do a Google search using photos instead of text. Most Google search bars will not have the camera right next to it, so you can just click on that to use the Google Lens option. But you can also download the actual app from your app store and it's totally free to use. So that's what I'm going to be using today to demonstrate to you how it works. Once I pull up the app, I have two options to use it. The first one is using the camera, so snapping a photo right then and there, but you can also scroll down and choose a photo that is already on your phone. I'm going to be showing you both ways and we'll start off with the camera option. So I'm going to be placing these shoes right here on my desk and just centering this camera right on the shoes and snapping the photo by clicking on that magnifying glass right at the bottom. Now that I've snapped the photo, I can see a rectangle that has come up. I can tap and hold this rectangle and move it around. Right now that's not necessary because it's centered right on the shoes and everything worked out fine. It pulled up the exact item that I needed. But when you're at the thrift store and there's so many items everywhere, you may need to use this feature of moving this to the exact item you're searching for. Now if I scroll down, I can see my search results. There's some that are being sold on eBay. I see some that are similar but not the same that are being sold on Amazon as well but I'm going to go ahead and click on the very first option which is the actual FootJoy website. Now that we're here on the FootJoy website I can find the specific style name of these shoes. I can scroll through and download these stock photos to use in my listing and if I scroll down I can find specific qualities of these shoes that I can add to my description as well. Now I'll be using Google Lens to find an item with a photo that I already have in my phone. I'm going to go with this light pink sweater right here and then I can see my search results. I see a lot of different sweaters that look similar but they're not the one that I have. This one is actually a J. Jill sweater and I don't see any of these listed like that. So that's the thing with Google Lens. The more simple and generic your item is, the more scattered and random search results it's going to pull up. But when your item is distinct and has unique qualities and maybe a standout logo, then it will pull up exact search results that you can use. So when the Google Lens method doesn't work, that's when I move on to the next option, which is the brand labels and tags on these shoes and clothes that I am searching for. Not all brands do us the favor of putting the specific style name on the tags that are inside the clothing. Some of them make it a little bit more complex by adding numbers and letters to identify their styles. But if we're lucky, they will at least label those mix of letters and numbers by putting style number or item number next to them. Soft Surroundings is one of those brands that do that. This is what the label looks like. And in the inside of the dress, I found a tag. And this is what that looks like. And right there, you can see it says style number. And it is 2AW56. So then from there, all it takes is a simple Google search to find the style name. Here on Google, I will come and add the brand name along with a short description of the item I am looking for, which is a long sleeve midi dress. And at the end, I will add the style number that I found on the tag and then just search. If I don't find anything on the first page, I can always click on images. And here I see a bunch of results. I see the same dress that I have in gray right here. And then I also see it in blue. Sometimes though, the item that I have will not come up in the exact color that I have it in. In that case, I will just use 
one even if it's a different color say i wanted to use this gray one i would just make sure that this is in fact the item that i have by comparing the collar the sleeves and just the distinct features that it has once I determine that yes, this is the exact item I have, I'll just go down here and find the style name. So this is the Easy Living Dress. From there, I would just go to Poshmark to do specific comps. Here on Poshmark, I have put in Soft Surroundings Easy Living Dress. This one up here is my listing that I created. And if I scroll down, you'll see that there's some gray ones, some black ones, and a lot of information for you to use in your listing like the kind of price you want to go with key terms you want to use and sometimes if my item is not here on this page i will use the filters off to the side to lower the search results so in this case i have a blue dress so i'll click the blue and now all i see is the blue dresses and from here i can go on to download this stock photo so that i can use it in my listings which is what I did right here. With some brands, it gets even a little bit harder because they don't put a style name and they don't even put style number, item number anywhere either. Clark's is one of those brands that does that. This is a black booty and I will put a picture here of the tag so that you can see what I'm talking about. But there's just numbers and letters everywhere. It's not really obvious which one of those is the style number that you should search for on Google. So in an instant like this it's just going to take some trial and error you will go to google put the brand name put a short description of the item you have and then put one of the set of numbers that you see on the tag if that doesn't turn up anything then you will try the next set of numbers until you find the item that you do have with Clarks, I've already listed many of these kind of shoes and I've already listed these black booties as well. So I know that the style number is the one that's off to the side. And in most cases, that's how it'll be. The style number will be the one that's kind of isolated from the rest of the information. So I'm going to show you on Google how I came across the style name of this boot. But before I do, let's just have a talk about RN numbers and CA numbers. Those numbers mean nothing. Okay, they do mean something. They will tell you what the brand is, but they're not going to lead you to the style name. RN numbers are just used to identify what the brand name is of the item you have, and that's it. If you're ever at a thrift store and you find an item that has no sort of brand tag, size, or anything, you can always use the RN number if it has it to find the brand of the item, but that's not going to lead you to the brand style name. So back here on Google again, I put in the brand name, black leather ankle booties, and then the style number that I found on the shoe. And now I'm just going to search for this. And here I'll search for the shoes that I have. I see some here on Poshmark, on eBay, and on Mercari. Let's start with these on Poshmark. Here in the title, I don't see a specific style name. I just see that they put the number that I use to search for them. So I'll scroll down here and see if I find something different. Here I see them on QVC. Most of the time QVC will have a lot of information that I can use. So I'll go ahead and head to their website. Here on QVC, I can see the style name now. They're called the Emsley Warren Shoes. So now I can use this information to search for them on Poshmark to see what they are selling for. But I can also use this website to find more details about this item, more keywords, and just different specifics about it. But for now, I'll just highlight and copy this style name. On Poshmark, I will put Clark's plus the style name and ankle boots. And now I can see specific comps for this item I have. If none of the previous methods we've discussed help you find the style name of your item, your last resort is going to be to use descriptive words to find the item. So you'll go on to Google search and input keywords about your item. If you don't know what keywords to use, then you can always snap a photo with Google Lens and then use those search results to come up with descriptive words for you to do your Google search. Even if the items that come up on Google Lens 
elements aren't your specific item, you can still use it as a reference so that you can find words to describe the item you do have. This is an item I posted recently and I'm going to show you how I would find this item on Google if I did not have the style name or even a style number. So you'll always start with the brand name as we've been doing and then the description that I put is long sleeve ruche dress. My recommendation is to always start simple and then you can slowly add more keywords if what you're looking for doesn't turn up because sometimes when you add too many keywords Google gets confused and it doesn't show you what you want. But in this case this simple search did turn up the dress that I'm looking for which is this one right here. And once I click on it, I can see the exact style name, which is Eternal Compliment. Okay, now let's move on to part two, which is how to download, edit, and add stock photos to your listings. Before we get started on that though, I do wanna give a quick disclaimer because I know that some people are really against using stock photos. I'm doing it fully knowing that it's not the right thing to do, that it is against the policies of some of these platforms, but a lot of people do it anyway. But just so you know, you're not supposed to use stock photos and if the brands of these stock photos want to, they can always complain to Poshmark or wherever you're using them and they can take your listings down. When downloading a stock photo on your computer, sometimes it's as simple as going to the photo you want, right clicking and going to save image as and that will download the photo to your computer you just click save here then when you're listing your item you can just click on add photo find the download select it click open and then move this as your first photo so that can be your cover photo. Sometimes it's not that simple though. If I wanted to use this stock photo from Amazon, if I right click, click save as, it's going to save as web page comma complete. Sometimes it'll say web P file or other random things. The download has to be as a JPEG file or a PNG file in order for it to be able to upload properly on Posh Mark. If I save this like this, it's not going to upload to Poshmark. In those situations, I will use a screenshot tool. I have a Windows computer and the shortcut that I use is Windows plus Shift plus S and that brings up this screenshot tool. If you have a Mac computer, you can Google search what your shortcut would be and also I know you can download Google Chrome extensions that are basically like apps but for your computer that will allow you to take screenshots of your screen. First I'm going to click on this one here to use this stock photo then I'm going to click Windows Shift and S on my computer and I will drag this tool over the stock photo Next, I will come here to canva.com. This is the design software that I use to create all of my graphics, my YouTube thumbnails, graphics for my videos. I even used it to create my eBay banner, my measurement forms, and so many other things. Right now, I'm just going to be showing you the functions necessary to create the stock photos, but if you want a complete tutorial on this software, I will leave it linked down in the description. The first thing I'll do is select my design that I want to use which is this one that I labeled stock photos. This is the size of like an Instagram post which is a one by one ratio which is what Poshmark needs. You need your photo to be in a square format so that it doesn't get cut off when you upload it. So let's go ahead and select this one. Since I took a screenshot of the dress before, it is already in my imaginary clipboard. So all I have to do is click Control V on my keyboard so that it can paste that stock photo into my design. From here, all I have to do is adjust it. If you tap and hold the photo, you can move it around. So I'll just move it off to one corner and then you can hover your mouse over the corner of the photo so that you can see this two headed arrow. Click and hold your mouse and you can stretch it out. You can leave it like this or you can make it bigger just to show only the dress in the square here. And that's basically it. From here you can download this photo as is. But most of the time what I will 
do is make a white background on this dress and then add the picture of my actual dress off to the side. And I do this just to make my listing a little bit different because most others will have just this stock photo and I want mine to look a little different than the rest. So to do that, I will select the photo. You can know it's selected because it has this blue outline around it. Once selected, you can click on edit image up on the tools bar up here and then you're presented with all these different options the one we want is bg remover which is background remover so i'll click on that and now it has removed the background and now i can adjust this how i want it here and then i will just upload the picture of my dress which i already have one right here and go ahead and adjust it as well once i've adjusted everything and i like the way it looks i can click this download option up at the top right make sure that it is a png file type and click download and as you see has downloaded it down here now i can go to my poshmark listing and either click add and select the photo from here or you can just simply drag this picture make sure that the square is highlighted with that dotted line and then drop it right in there now you can just move this picture to the front to make that your cover photo so that's the method I use to create my stock photos for Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. But sometimes I will also use Canva to create a collage for my listings. Like when I want to show the front and the back part of an item on my cover photo, or when an item is reversible and I wanna show both sides, I will use Canva to create those graphics. Canva is also available as a phone app as well for Androids and for iPhones. And I also have a full tutorial on how to use the Canva app. I'll leave that in the description. I created this video because many of you were requesting it. I want to create content that you want to see. So if you have any video recommendations that you'd like for me to make, make sure to leave that down in the comments. If you have any questions about today's topic, leave that in the comments as well. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I'll see you next time.